Hey guys, as you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to challenge the idea that there actually is no such thing as a bad experience. And I know this can be very difficult for some of you to hear, especially those who have gone through an extremely challenging experience, such as rape or something like that. And it can be tough to hear, I know this. And I am making this video just because I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch right now in my life. A bit of a speed bump, if you will. Just things like a lot of shadow issues coming up. Just had a three week break with my girlfriend, transition to a new job, and just yeah, a lot of old stuff coming up. But what's getting me through this is that I'm just recognizing it for what it is. Because it is all about how you look at things. Because at the end of the day, perception is what forms reality. I can give two different people the exact same situation and one may get the good out of the bad and the other one might get the bad out of the good. You know, it's the difference between a pessimist and an optimist. It's all about how you look at things. And what's really helped me along my journey is understanding this dichotomy of nature. How in this earth plane we live in duality, right? You've got good and bad, up and down, heaven and hell, so on and so forth. And I've talked about this before. In one of my previous videos but what I'm saying is that you cannot have good without bad you can't have up without down how could you if you don't have the contrast to distinguish the two right good and bad are just two sides of the same coin all these negative experiences is what shapes our character and what helps us appreciate life so much more I wouldn't even know where I'd be today if I didn't go through the lows of the lows drug addiction, the depression, I'm not even going to get into it in this video, but let's just say I hit rock bottom, yeah? And I really, I could not imagine where I'd be today if I didn't have that experience. And I'm super grateful to have experienced that end of the spectrum, yeah? Because now it gives me empathy for others and I know how so many of us are going through. I know what it feels like and it's really helped me experience the highs of the highs. Because this universe is all about balance. The lower you go, right, the higher the potential you have for reaching those highs. It's like if you were to get a basketball and bounce it on the ground. The harder you bounce it on the ground, the higher it's gonna go up. But with life, you just don't know when it's gonna bounce back. And I'm telling you guys to purposely go for these bad experiences all these challenging experiences, that will happen because life works, life is a roller coaster. You're gonna get just as many highs as you are the lows. But it's how you train your mind and how you perceive these situations, yeah? Like, why do you think the most inspiring, motivating, positive people on this planet are the ones who have reached the lowest of the low? Take Mother Teresa, for example, or even the Dalai Lama. Man, they went through some shit. And it's the same when you go to a third world country. Why is it that they're so much happier than the Western country when we have everything? And I'm not saying that the lower you go, that's automatically going to mean that you're going to have the highs of the highs. It's what you do with that experience. Because as Einstein has stated, and physics have proven, <laughs> energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be moved or transformed. So you can take this extremely negative experience and like most people, they're just gonna hold on to it and transfer it, yeah? They're gonna move it and they're gonna bring other people down to their level because people who hurt are hurting on the inside. So you can be like most people and you can hold on to that negative experience and just bring other people down with you and just spit out more negativity into this world which is completely unnecessary. We have enough of that already. Or you can transform that energy into a positive one. Use that negative experience for good, for inspiring others or helping you grow or whatever it may be. But the potential is there. I'm telling you that right now. But it's all about what you choose to do with that experience. It's all about how you perceive the situation, how you perceive life. I mean, you can even take psychedelic trips, for example. Why do you think it is that the bad trips or the bad trips are usually the most beneficial ones? Because all these challenging experiences or dark entities are here to teach us as well. 
just as much as the good. And so many of us try to avoid these bad trips or these challenging experiences of life. And I know it's a bit ironic because I have a video titled How to Avoid a Bad Trip. But that was more of a marketing strategy because no one's going to search how to avoid a challenging trip. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah guys, that's it from me. Um, sorry that I posted this video a couple days late. But yeah, just a lot of shit going on. But I really appreciate all you guys' comments and the support because... To be honest, it's a big part of what's keeping me going with the channel. So thank you guys, really appreciate it. And just to keep you guys updated, uh, I've nearly finished editing the video of my girlfriend's first mushroom experience. And I really think you guys are gonna enjoy this a lot. So keep an eye out for that. I will post, uh, should be posted maybe a week or two. Yeah, just polishing up the rest of it. And, but I'm nearly done, so yeah. Keep an eye out for that. But yeah, have a good one guys. Merry Christmas and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.